what's up YouTube been a while got a little different video for you guys today so just got this in the mail this morning thought y'all might find this interesting it's a bit a little bit of a different video got a couple of knives in not these these are some out of my collection we're going to put these over here Sod Buster Jr. case. One of my first Sod Busters. But I got a little something along that lines here from uh, GEC, Great Eastern Cutlery. So here we go. Just got this in the mail this morning. As you can see, they sent it to Hillbilly Nitro RC. So. This is my first GEC, or actually first GECs, because I bought more than one. So, let's check this out. You guys should like this. I know I'm going to. I figured why well, just buy one. Why not buy three? So, let me get this out of the package here. There's number one. So right there, as you can see, there's the, what we got going on. OD Green Linen Micarta, number 71. Black Linen Micarta, number 71. And the third is another OD Green Linen Micarta, number 71. I bought two of the greens. The greens are kind of hard to find right now. Barely found this one in stock, so this is the last place I looked for two days to find these in stock, and I found some, so I nabbed two of them. Plan on carrying one and putting these other two up, and hopefully we'll have a red one very soon. Those red ones are hard to find. So let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what we got going on. This will be interesting for all of us. Pop the top. Okay, this is the, an OD green right here. Sorry, I'm kind of working off to the side of the camera here. It's a beautiful day here in Tennessee. March. Got a wax paper. Sit it over there. Here we go. We're both all laying, all laying eyes on this. It's the first time. Good. Let's open her up. Good and snappy. Bull nose. Let's see if we can fit that in the screen. This is part of the farm and field collection they have going on as you can see here farm and field tool made in the USA John I know you're watching this I know you'll like that if it's not made in the USA I probably do not want it you know, there's a couple of exceptions but you know how it is there's the back 71-5117-5117. Made up in, I believe, uh, what is it, Titusville, Pennsylvania? Yeah, Tit Titusville, Pennsylvania. I've heard a lot of good things about these knives. I've just never bought any of them. Kind of stayed away from them because I know once I buy the first, 
there's the addiction setting in and I can tell you this one looks good 1095 on the blade steel that is carbon so it will collect character over time which is what I like I'm just over carrying stainless steel in my case knives it's they just don't hold an edge I got some older ones that seem to hold a little better than the newer ones I just I'm not even looking for newer case knives nowadays I only buy old ones if it's not vintage I don't want it okay there's number one that's enough gawking at this one my tongue's out right now I like I'm liking what I see some light over here by the way that's slip joint junkie go check me out on facebook i just started that page back last month go check me out on that you'll see a lot of pictures of knives out of my collection okay let's open up the black the black use our knife here to pop the cap Yeah, these are, I've just, I've had my eye on these for a while, and I'm like, I've got to buy some wax paper. Stuff that back down in the tube. Yeah, that black looks good. It's got some oil on it. These things are slathered in oil. Carta. Beautiful. They make some sweet knives. They get it. Bull nose. F and F USA. Farm and field. Let's get some of that oil off the blade here. These are beautiful. I can see some more in my future. Got the brass lanyard there, hole. Well, it's lanyard hole. Can't even speak right. I'm excited about these. Let's feel the snap on this. Yeah, feels pretty good. The other one, the first one snapped a little harder than this one on the clothes. Still pretty tight though. There's the black. down right here I guess we'll check out this other green one just to give her an inspect about two because definitely gonna slip one into my EDC I've been looking for a good EDC that's 1095 carbon green ones knife connection is where I got them and let me tell you their shipping is superb ordered on Friday and it's Monday morning let's feel this blade one feels good not quite as strong as the other but it's still pretty good I like that one that one may be the one that goes in my pocket they're like a, I tend to like them to be a little looser in the, 
instead of snapping like a bear trap for EDC. Focus. There we go. Got some oil on the blade. Let's wipe that off for you guys. If you're coming across this video and you're planning on picking one of these up or you just purchased one, they are sweet. It's light, I mean, it's not exactly picking the green up that well, but I'm sure you can get a good idea from the black. There it is, you can see right there. There we go. Sweet knives. Let's take a look on that snap again. Yeah, that's a little lighter than the others. Which that's a good thing for me because, like I said, I don't like them too snappy for everyday carry. I am happy. Let's put this one on the bottom so I don't forget which is here. silver action going on there and here's the case this is the mini sod buster that's basically what this pattern is off of is the sod buster pattern which has been around a long time but here's a early 2000s case sod buster junior i think is what they call it not a mini stainless steel blade I got a good deal on this little knife in a pawn shop. It needs to be polished up a little bit, but that's character. That's what I say. Like I said, we'll compare it to the Sodbuster Junior there. You can see this bit of a difference there. And I brought a tape measure out. You get an idea on the size of the 71 pattern. The 71 frame. That's what it is. Open. Just over three inches on the blade. Old Miller Falls vintage tape measure they might consider that racist nowadays huh white tape <laughs> I could see that being racist not but I'm sure some people some social justice warriors would find that racist we'll check out the weight on these surface here start it over there we go mm, right at 70 grams yep right on the money see if there's any difference I guess black weighs a little bit more than green. <laughs> That's on 69 now. Let's check out the other one. It's on dead on 70. Yep. Anyways, I guess that's probably going to wrap it up. I am definitely happy with these. For you guys that check out my channel for the RC 
stuff. Got some parts in for the B3 project going on, so stay tuned for some videos on that. Here's a, here's a look at the 78 Case Muskrat. Beautiful sandbar stag. Backside. I have the whole collection of the 1978 red scroll. That's red. I don't know. There it is. I really want to pick up the color. I have a nice overcast sky today, and it's kind of playing with the camera. Here's a, another one you guys might want to take a look at. I mean, if you if you guys want to see more videos of my knives, just let me know. I have plenty. Here's the Stockman in the 78 red letter scroll. One of my favorites. I have a lot of vintage case knives. That's really what I'm into collecting. And I just, as you can see, got my feet wet into the GECs. So, there'll be more of those to come, I'm sure. And, here's a little something coming up for you guys. Didn't want to do my first knife video on this bad boy. Just got her last month. Here's a little sneak peek. Mmm. Boom. Stay tuned for that. Pre-65 Case Bulldog. She is a beauty. Anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it and subscribe to the channel if you just come across this video. You know, looking at knives or something. Because I'm going to do some more of them. Show my collection. It's not, not huge, but... I have some, so anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. If you do, do it twice. Peace out.